help video for Savannah Stoker controller users that are having problems with excessive temperature swing or PV temperature does not drop low enough. Or for anybody with the Savannah Stoker that would just like to maybe go through and final tune their controller. It's three simple procedures. We'll determine and adjust for the RTD offset if needed. Determine the OUT low, which is the auger minimum runtime in a cycle, and change that value if needed, and then perform an auto tune. First thing you do is you want to start with a clean pit and, of course, the fire pot. Next, we install a remote thermometer probe right in the center of the grill to check for our offset which is, as you know, the RTD is over position some other place. The next thing we'll do is do a normal start. Now everybody here probably already knows how to start the grill. So I'll pause and do a startup and we'll go from there. Now you want to start it up, let it run up the temp and let it run for about 30 minutes. So it warms up the total pit and everything stabilized before we do this. All right, my grill has been up and running for about 30 minutes now. It's stabilized. The SV is at 180, and my PV is at 205, so we need crack for that. And there was some temperature swing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go check out our OT, OUT low and make sure that's properly. And along with that, we'll do the RTD offset. So we press the set button. I mean, I'm sorry. We changed the SV to minimum. In my case, my oops, mine goes down too far. I'm going down to 150, which is about normal. So you need to probably be 150 or 160. Next, we press the set button to go to display two. That shows the percent that the auger runtime is. So we have a cycle of the default of 20 seconds and the auger is running 17 percent of 20 seconds. Okay, We're going to go to manual mode and to do that we press the AM button. Now we're in manual and the control longer, controller is no longer controlling. We're controlling it with this number here that we change with the up and down arrows here or are we going to change in operational parameters. So the first thing we'll do, we already set it there so we know it's not dropping. So the first thing is if you're above 190 you want to drop the OUT low about 2 or 3. If you're one above 180, 2. If you're above 170, drop it by 1. If you're below 160, increase by 1. And if you're below 150, increase by 2. So to do that, we're going to go into the operational parameters and then page down to OUT low. So we press the set button and hold it until we see egg on the top, IGN. Okay? Now use the set button to page down. So we just page down until we get to the OUT low. And I'm going to change that by oops, 3 to start with. And then you press and hold to set it and exit. Now you have to wait for about 20 minutes to see where it stabilizes that. If you do it too soon, you'll get erroneous readings. And if you're getting temp swings with this, yeah, I'm sorry, now we need to go back to the display too. You go to display 2 and display 1 with the set button. That's display 2, that's display 1. 
When you go into operational parameters and exit, a lot of times it'll revert back to display one. So back to display two. Now you can see my temperature, now I have to adjust down to the one fourth. Now you wait. So I'll pause here while this comes down. Alright, I'm back and it's looked like it's stabilized out around 184, which is better. Now while I'm here, I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer, but at the same time we can check our RTD offset. We're at 185 on the PB, and on the remote I'm showing 193, 186, 193. So we take that difference and we add it to the value. I'm going to go with 7. To do that, it's a plus 7 because this is higher. If this was lower, we'd go minus. I'm going to go back in the operational parameters. You hold it until IGN. And now we're going to page down to PB1. And that's where we set that. PB1. I'm going to go up to 7. And of course, this is a guess. You can do it again if it's not good. And it don't have to be exactly, you just have to get it close. And that is close enough. 195, 197. Okay. So, now I need to go back into, from display 1 to display 2, press the set button. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to drop another 2, at least for mine. And I'm going to take a big swag. I'm going to go, uh, yeah, I think I'll go 3. I'm going to hold it. Go in operational parameters. Page down to OUT low. And drop that to 11. Press and hold until it exits. We're back display one. Press the set button to go display two. Use a down arrow to set that to there. Now, as you all know already, you have to wait about at least 20 minutes to 30 minutes to let it stabilize and make sure that it's the proper setting. So, I'm going to go make an adult beverage. You make whatever kind you want, I guess. And I'll pause it. Okay, it looks like we're right in that area, so we're going to go with that. We're going to take it out to manual mode for one. Go back, and then we're going to go to display one. We're going to set this to 225. And while that's climbing to 225, we're going to go under... And a firm. Now we can see, let me just do that. 169, 170, 168. That's close enough between offset and we have here. So we're going to go in there and make sure that's what we have. Page down to. And that's what it is, 11. So it is set. Now, again, and you probably figured this out, patience is the key. Also, you can see we're getting abundance of nice smoke at that temperature. And it's continuous blue smoke like that down in that area once you have this thing adjusted to your pellet. Everything is done, and we just have to wait until it comes up to 225. 
and then we'll do the auto tune. Now, the thing about the auto tune is we want to start the auto tune when it's descending down to 225. So we're assuming it'll go past and go up and down around that. If it doesn't, we'll just increase it to 230. And once it's at 230 and stabilized, we'll drop it to 225. And as it's coming down, we'll set the auto tune. The thing is, again, once it's up around 225, you want to wait and let it stabilize before you start your auto tune. So, we're going to pause here again and be back. Okay, this pit's been stabilized for 30 minutes. I had a quick little dinner. And I'm watching and it's dropping, so we're going to turn on the auto tune. Press the set button until we get to operational parameters again. Page to AT, which is on 3. We use the down arrow, go to 2. Press the set button to save. Press and hold the set button to exit. And it'll start flashing like this, and that's in auto tune. If you want to stop the auto tune, just go back to operational parameters. Page that. And set it back to three. Simple as that. When it's done with the auto tune, it'll stop flashing and return to normal. This is going to do about three cycles. The temperature will increase, go down some, and then increase, go back down, increase about three times. And it could take up 30, 40 minutes, sometimes a little longer. Okay, I hope this is helpful, and happy barbecuing. Have a good day.